Today we're going to take a look at the MathBoard app. The MathBoard app can help students with basic arithmetic. So when I first open the MathBoard app, what I'm going to do as a teacher is set what type of problems that I want my students to work on. I can do so by clicking over here. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of different settings I can choose. So over here right now, our students are doing addition of subtraction. I can also say, hey, I want them doing division problems. If I scroll down, I can set the amount of problems I want them to work out. Right now, it's set at 25. One thing that's really important is over here, the answer style. You really want to make sure that's not set to multiple choice, because basically the students can just blaze right through it by clicking on anything on the screen. So if you click over here, you can change this to any one of these, fill in the blank, keypad, etc. What we're going to do is going to choose keypad calculator. And you'll see what that does in a moment. Again, there are more settings to change, the number range, etc. Um, all sorts of stuff. There's also the time. I don't like to stress my students out, so I actually want to remove this where it says time elapsed. As they're working out on their problems, by default, there'll be a clock. I don't want that, so I'm going to click over here, and I'm going to choose that to off. And this is important too, auto save results. I want to put a check mark there. Basically, what's going to happen is at the end of the series of math problems, the students will be prompted to save their work. You want them to do that so that as a teacher, you can go back afterwards and see where they made the mistake. I'm going to click on done. And what my student will do now is I hand him or her the iPad and they click on play. So over here they have a math problem to work out. If they need to actually work that out on a piece of paper, they can do it on a piece of paper or if they'd like, they can actually work on the iPad right over here. I can click on expand and then they have a virtual blackboard to work on with a whole bunch of different colors. Uh, they can erase, they can do whatever they want and work out their problem. If you're lucky enough to be sitting beside your student as they're working out the problem, you can actually see if there's any issues uh, when they're calculating things. If not, it's just good for them to have when they're working on the problem. So I'm going to click on shrink. So as a student, what I can do is I can go through here, I can say, whoops, I got that one wrong, uh, etc, etc. I can go through this. I'm going to go through this very quickly. Um, if the student is not sure how to answer the problem, they want to come back to it later, they can click on OK. And what will happen is they will come back to that later. So again, we're going to keep blazing through all the problems here. And if they got one correct, they'll get a little ding, correct. There you go. Oh, I scored 0%. Oh, well. Over here, I'm going to click on Save. And what you can do is, or what the student can do, is they can click on any one of these problems. And over here it says Show Problem Solver. If they click on Show Problem Solver, the app will actually take them through the steps involved of figuring out the problem. Last but not least, you may notice in the corner over here, I have the student's name and the last set of questions that he worked on. If I click on this, I now get a record of everything that student did. I can even click up here and I can email myself the results of what this student had done. So it's pretty neat. So in conclusion, that's a brief overview of the MathBoard app for the iPad.